In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use Elasticsearch's highlighting feature. This video assumes that you have a basic understanding of Elasticsearch because I'll be using terminology such as indexing of documents, searching, analyzers, mapping, etc. If you're not familiar with these concepts, I suggest going on over to the Elasticsearch website and reviewing the documentation there so that you can get up to speed. With that said, let's get to it. So what exactly is highlighting in Elasticsearch? Highlighting enables you to get snippets from one or more fields in your search results so you can show users where the query matches are. Now, this is how that works. When you send a query to Elasticsearch and you want to use highlight the highlighting feature, you will have to send the query, the typical query that you send to Elasticsearch, so maybe some match query or term query, and in addition to that, you'll have to send a, another object in, the, in that uh, query payload that contains the field that you want Elasticsearch to scan for highlighting. So Elasticsearch will do its typical scanning for documents to go and find the documents that match a term. And then in addition to that, it will look at the field that you provided in your highlight query and go into the documents and see if any terms or uh, any strings match the term that you provided. If it finds any, it will surround those terms or those strings with uh, tags. By default, the, ta the tags are the EM tags, which are the emphasis tags for HTML. Um, but those can be customized in your highlight query when you send it to Elasticsearch. Now, when the documents come back, they'll have a special highlight field. And in that field, it will contain the document field that you specified in your query, as well as the um, string and the any and, and the terms that match your search term will be highlighted, or the strings uh, that match your search term will be highlighted in that field. Um, let's go ahead and do an example so that we can see how this actually works, and that might make things a bit clearer. So here I am in Postman. I have a employee index. Actually, I think I already have one that exists. So let me just delete it and we can start over. Okay, so I just deleted that index. So starting on a clean slate. So I have an employee index here, which will be storing employee documents. And each document, each employee document has a first name, last name, and job title. Now, these are the settings for the index. I just kept it simple for the sake of this demo. Have one shard no replicas. Um, I have an analyzer here that consists of a custom tokenizer and a lowercase filter. I have the tokenizer defined here, which is a custom edge engram tokenizer, which is what I reference up here. And here it's of type edge engram. And um, the bounds are a minimum gram of one, max gram of a hand of a hundred. And then the token characters that we allow in our grams are letters and digits. And this was just arbitrary. This is something I just chose for the demo. Um, obviously, this would depend on what you're trying to achieve um, and what your data is if you're doing this in the real world, in production, or in a real app. Um, so with that said, we can come down here and look at the fields again. We have the first name defined as a keyword, last name defined as a keyword. And then we have the job title which is defined as two things. First of all, it's indexed as a, um, it's defined as a type text and it's indexed uh, using the standard analyzer, which I didn't um, define here or declare here because that's what the default is in the last search. So I didn't define it. And also the search analyzer for this um, job title field is the standard analyzer. So those are the defaults, so I didn't define them here. We also have this term vector uh, which is set with position offsets. And what that means is when job title is analyzed using the standard analyzer, it can be broken up into um, terms. Now, what this with position offset does is it stores extra information about the job title field. So it stores the metadata about the job title field. And that metadata is the terms, the term positions, and the character offsets. So when the standard analyzer receives a job title, it will break it up into terms. So in the case of, for example, we have a job title of software engineer, 
that will be broken up to two, two terms. So software and engineer as two separate terms. And then the term positions would be for software, it would be position zero because the first position of the string software engineer and then engineer will be position one because the second position of the string software engineer. And then you have character offsets, which is the position of the character in the, in the term on the token. So in this case, S would be position uh, offset zero, O would, would be position one, or offset one, sorry. Um, F would be offset two, T would be offset three, etc. So we store that metadata in here and we'll be using that for the um, highlighting example. Um, so we have that here for this normal title field. So this job title field is analyzed in two ways. First, by the default standard analyzer, which I didn't define here because that's a default. And then secondly, it will be analyzed as an n-grams field. Um, this is just a name. I could have called this anything. I could have called this foo, bar, et cetera, but it's just a name of the field. Um, but then we can see here we're using the, the index analyzer, which is this, is a custom edge n-gram analyzer, which you defined up here. So that will tokenize the job title into n-grams based off of this constraints that we provide here. So in the case of software engineer, it will analyze software engineer into S, SO, SOF, SOFT. Um, that's how the edge ngram um, filter works or tokenizer works. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and create this index. It's created successfully. Then we'll add a document, first name, last name, job title of software engineer. Let's create it successfully. Now, next we will actually query or search for a, a documents, but we'll also use um, the highlight feature because we want to highlight um, specific things in the response on the documents that we get. So in this case, if you look at the payload, we have a, a typical match query. We're querying uh, the, uh, we're looking at the job title field and querying for the term engineer using a match query, and then we have this highlight field or highlight object where we define the field that we want Elasticsearch to look in and find items to highlight. So in this case, in this payload, we're basically saying, hey, or in this highlight, we're telling Elasticsearch, hey, I want you to look in the job title field and anywhere you find this string engineer, I want you to highlight it. That's essentially what this highlight field's job title does. And then lastly, we have the FVH, which is just a highlighter type we're using. In this case, the fast vector highlighter. So I'll go ahead and uh, run this search. And as you can see, we find a matching document because engineer is contained in the job title, but also because we had specified that we want to highlight the job title or, or scan the job title field to highlight strings you see we matched engineer, so we highlighted it using the default EM tags for Elasticsearch. Uh, because we didn't define any tags here in our highlight query, Elasticsearch is the default. Now in this next example, we'll be querying using the other field that the job title was indexed as, which was the ngrams field. So we have this typical, um, not, not typical, but the same structure as before almost um, so I have a query, a match query, but in this case, we're querying the job title n-grams field. And then for the highlight, we're doing the same thing and we're querying or we want to highlight uh, based off of the job title n-grams field. Um, in addition, we have the same FVH, FVH uh, highlighter. And then here we defined custom tags to replace the EM tag from before. So I just defined these I tags so that I can show how the uh, customization works, customization, customization of tag, tags works. Um, so here we want to search for anything that matches ENG, the job title. So when that runs, you see we find the document, the document matches because the job title has engineer whose uh, prefix is ENG, so that is what makes a document match. And then at the same time, the highlighter comes and scans this same field, but for n-grams, 
and finds that there's an engram that exists for that field, uh, for the yeah for that field, um, for the job title engrams field, and it highlights it using the custom tags that I defined. Now it's important to note that if this change to its job title, this would not match because job title remember was index using the standard analyzer, which breaks up the job title software engineer into two terms or two tokens, software and engineer. So there's no such token as ENG as far as the job title field is concerned. ENG only exists in the engrams because that's how the engrams work works. We split it up, we split up software engineer into you know SO, SOF, I mean SO, sorry, into S, SO, SOF. Etc. And then engineer to E, E N, E N G. So this E N G points to the this document here. So that's why, in the case of the engrams, it, it worked. But in job title, nothing, because there's no such thing in the job title field. Only in the engrams. And if we do the same thing with let's say soft. Same thing. So we see it matches because of the the way the engrams field was index. So that's it for now. Um, this was just a basic introduction to highlighting in Elasticsearch. Uh, here we use Postman, but in the next video, I'll be using um, Java code. So I'll go into the Elasticsearch Java API and. Um, write some code to show how this works in actual code. So I'll be following a similar workflow, but just doing it in code just to demonstrate how that can be done in code. Thank you for watching.